And Professor Clements with you as we consider more of uh, optics in this uh, video, considering the optics of a compound microscope, a microscope made of two converging lenses. Microscopes, of course, are useful. We want to see small objects, see the details in them. Um, so let's go ahead and discuss how they uh, are manufactured, at least the basics. This is a much more complicated microscope than the one we'll be talking about with special lighting, uh, multiple uh, choices for magnification, like turning the uh, objective uh, lens wheel down here. The basics of the microscope that uh, I would like you to know are that we have two converging lenses in a compound microscope. The objective lens is near the object objective lens is near the object. The eyepiece lens is near the eye. This diagram is slightly misleading. The focal length of the objective lens and the eyepiece lens is short. The focal length is, should be a little shorter than what's uh, drawn here. This object is placed slightly outside the focal length and the objective lens then will form a real image. Image one is a real image and with the case of a shorter focal length here, this would be a more magnified uh, first image. Uh, so our objective lens forms a magnified first image. This first image is the object for the second lens, for the eyepiece lens. Where should this first image be located compared to the focal point of the eyepiece lens in order for this eyepiece lens to act as a simple magnifier? can see the orientation of image one and image two are the same. The eyepiece is acting as a simple magnifier. Image one is slightly inside the focal point of the eyepiece lens. So image one slightly inside the focal point of the eyepiece lens. The eyepiece lens acts like a simple magnifier. The overall magnification is the multiplication of the magnification of the objective times the magnification due to the eyepiece. And we could you know, put in numbers here and calculate you know, minus di over do for the magnification for each lens, multiply those numbers together, and we would have the overall magnification of this microscope. Um, so we're not going to consider more fancy microscopes with other lenses installed. Um, this will be our study of the compound microscope. Two converging lenses, the objective lens, the object is a little outside the focal point. We form a real image. The eyepiece uses image one as its object. This image one is slightly inside the focal point of the eyepiece and consequently we get a, a simple magnifier action for the eyepiece lens. So, in a future chapter, we'll learn that we can get better details if we use blue light rather than red light. So let that percolate in your mind, and hopefully you'll remember this. But the microscope gives us our best results, best details, if we use blue light rather than red light. And one last uh, uh, comment here as a concept, the electron microscope. I thought we were talking about light, optics. Well, we are. With the electron, in a future chapter, we'll learn that the electron travels as a wave, and the wave nature of the electron can be harnessed to produce very uh, detailed images of small objects, you know, a virus, etc. Uh, but the electron acts like a wave. That wave can be focused and give us images of very small objects. We'll not consider the electron microscope in this chapter. We're just doing uh, geometrical optics with uh, larger lenses instead of uh, really small uh, elements. So that uh, concludes our discussion of the, uh, the compound microscope. Two converging lenses and slightly different placement on the uh, location of uh, uh, the object and the image compared to the focal point of, uh, of the two lenses. You should know the, uh, the terminology. The objective lens is near the object. Eyepiece lens is near the eye. Not too difficult, but keep reading and asking questions.